Now, in this question, we're given this hemispherical hollow bowl and it's being filled with water. And we're told that when its height is h, the volume v in cubic meters is given by this formula here, 1 12th pi h squared, all multiplied by 3 minus 4h, for h greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 0 0.25. And our problem is that we've got to find dv by dh when h is 0 0.1. So how do I do something like this? Well, I'm going to need to differentiate v with respect to h to get dv dh. But I'd want to expand it here, first of all. And I'm not going to expand it in its entirety. I'm just going to take the 1 12th pi and just leave that out the front here, 1 12th pi, but expand partially then this bracket as h squared times 3, which is 3h squared, and then I've got h squared times the minus 4h, which is minus 4h cubed. So that means now that when I come to differentiate this, all I need to do is just differentiate this bracket, and uh, that's going to be a lot easier to work with, I feel. It's up to you though whether you expand the whole lot. So when we differentiate it, we have therefore dv by dh is going to equal 1 12th pi. And now I just have to multiply this by the differential of the bracket. So for the first term here, we're just going to get 6h. And for the second term here, minus 12h squared. So we just need to now find out what we get when h equals 0.1. And when h equals 0.1, we therefore have dv by dh equals 1 12th pi. Let's just put that in, 1 12th pi, multiplied by, well, 6 times 0.1 is going to be 0.6. And then we subtract 12 times 0.1 squared. So that's going to be 0.12. If we work this out, 0.6 times take away 0.12 is going to be 0.48. So you've got 1 12th pi multiplied by 0.48. And this comes to, in fact, 0.04 pi. You could leave it like that if you wish, or you could think of this as 4 hundredths, which is, what, uh, 4 hundredths is 1 25th. So you've got pi over 25. Okay, so that's your rate of change of V with respect to H.